Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Signa, and today we'll be explaining how out of memory suppression works. For those who don't know, Mojang decided to patch update suppression in the 1.19 update, and that's why a few weeks ago I decided to release this new method of update suppression so that people could still use it. During the explanation, I might also show some code to better illustrate what I'm saying, and having said all of this, I will explain the basics of out of memory update suppression. Every update in the game has a limit of 1 million updates. Once you reach that limit, something called update skipping happens. Update skipping is good for portal slicing, but it prevents things like duping and custom portals. So, to get update suppression to work, we need two things. One, to crash the game before we reach 1 million updates, and two, stop the game from actually crashing. Simple. Now, to crash the game at just the right moment, we need to fill Minecraft's memory just enough so that when we need to, we can make it run out. This part of the process is what gives its name to the method, out of memory suppression, because we are running out of memory. For this job, we can use books, since they have the potential to store a lot of characters. If we place these books in unloaded chunks, every time we load the chunk, a substantial portion of the memory will be filled. We still need something that will let us reach the memory limit, and for that, we're going to use pistons. You see, pistons aren't processed immediately after being updated. They are stored in a list so that all pistons are processed at the same time. We can exploit this fact by making the list super big and filling the last part of the memory with that. Another trick we can use is that by updating pistons in chunks which aren't loaded, we'll keep them in the list until those pistons are loaded. The list does not scale linearly. Instead, once it reaches some specific number, it makes itself twice as big to accommodate for new updates. So, if we stop creating updates here, the next piston will take this much memory, creating a spike. For the piston update part, you can create something like this, which is just a bunch of pistons in unloaded chunks. But a flying machine of this sort will also do the trick if you use it right. Now, let's explain how we are preventing the crash. There are a few updates in Minecraft that are different from the rest. I like to call them try updates. They have an additional step in which they wait for a crash and create a crash report which can later be disregarded by the player packet, which is something like the player mining a block. So what we need to do is to hook up one of these updates to a piston being powered. My preferred way to do this is by using a comparator on top of a trapdoor that is facing into the piston. As the comparator pops, it will update the piston while waiting to create a crash report. Something else which isn't required but helps a lot to reduce stress from the server is to add some buttered note blocks at the start of the suppressor. That's everything for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will make sure to post the new design with the flying machine as soon as it's done. And I'll see you guys on the next one. If you have any problems, you can contact me on my Discord. And that has been all. Goodbye.